Hello and welcome to this tutorial. What I'm going to show you is how you can turn PowerPoint slides into a video using PowerPoint and Windows Movie Maker. And first off, I'll show you the PowerPoint. As you can see, this is a PowerPoint about time travel. Well, I found this from the web, and I also added a few slides myself. As you can see, it's just an ordinary slideshow, except when it comes to about this one. As you can see, it says more information is in a video on the next slide. Turn up the volume for you. Of all the unexplained mysteries in our universe, perhaps the most tantalizing and controversial is whether it's possible to travel through time. Back. Now, can we really alter our right, right now, as we exit, what we are going to do is our first step is you can see with no animations or transitions. Now, the way we're going to do this is we're going to resave this. Uh, as JPEG images, which will not contain the video, and that's where we can have animations or transitions as they won't show up. What we're going to do is handle that video file. Since Windows Movie Maker will allow you to import it, what we're going to do is we're going to copy the slide and paste the slide right below it. So now we have two of the same slides. Once we got that done, it, we go to the orange button right here and then go to save as and then click oh, other formats. Now what you want to do I'll just we need to go to the drop down list and select JPEG file in a change format. Now we're going to change this to say example PowerPoint pictures. And then make it then click save. And I'll ask if you want to export every slide or only the current slide. Click every slide. And now what it's doing is it created a, a folder in each one. Of this thing has been saved in a separate folder in the location. So now we can close out PowerPoint. If you may change it like that, if you want to save it, click yes. If you don't, click no. I'll just click no. And now what you want to do is start Windows Movie Maker. And now what we want to do is go on to Import and select Pictures. Now what you want to do is go into Documents, and as you can see right there it is, Example. Then, as you can see, the slide one, slide two, and everything. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go on and highlight every slide. If I can, I'll just go down to the bottom. And then walk my way up to the top. 
then I click import and now as you can see it's imported every single slide now what I have here is some files because I was making a tribute to some of my favorite shows on television before and so it'll be in the same folder but we're not going to need that and think about uploading it but I'm not sure yet so I go on and click timeline you can use this between storyboard and you can use it in timeline I'm not going to use timeline here now what you want to do is go on and find and what I recommend is this control and then click that because if you use Windows Movie Maker before it's not good then just drag it onto the timeline like so the default is five seconds so it's adding pictures before it I changed the default to three and now you want to scroll down to see when it changes and scroll our way up until we reach that then drag that onto the timeline and then control and then click those again and then drag that onto the timeline and so what we should have here, I'll show you on the storyboard for a second. Is the whole PowerPoint as a video. We can hit the play button and preview it. But as you can see, these slides are going a little bit too fast. fast. And so... What we are going to do is slow them down. There are a couple ways we can do this. What I recommend first is, is that you want to narrate the timeline. So what you want to do is go on and first switch to the timeline and then click timeline and then click narrate timeline. But then make sure that the limit narration to real piece on the audio music track is unchecked. It means because it's not working because there's not really any audio there. And then right there is the microphone. Let's open up the PowerPoint again. And resize that down and narrate while we do the uh while we read it. So I'll click, I'll click start narration. Time travel by B. Justin Schoenfield and Rico Robbins. What is the nature of time? Time is used to relate events. We define in two actions as simultaneous when we see two actions at the same time. I'll just stop it here. And then you just type it a name and then you click save. Now what I'll do is I'll pause the recording and I'll narrate the timeline and then once it's done I'll show you how you can change it so that it's done. So I'll go ahead and pause it 